So I was scrolling through my feed the other day, um, and I saw this video that absolutely stopped me in, in, in my tracks, right? You know, a timer was attacking some lady, right? Um, you know, and of course my heart started beating. I was like, oh my God, what am I seeing? Uh, you know, but then I took a, a closer look, right? In the video, the tiger is kind of like this, right? You know, and the lady's kind of like, oh no, wow. And I was just kind of thinking to myself, this probably isn't what happens when a tiger attacks. I lived through COVID and I watched the Tiger King. So like I've, I've seen this, right? If a tiger attacks you, your response is not out. Like you're on the ground. It's tearing you apart. Um, you know, but then I took a closer look at this video, right? And so the tiger's moving, but its stripes aren't, right? So obviously an AI fake, right? Um, you know, but it's easy to get terrified by this stuff, right? You know, deep fakes and AI misinformation. But, you know, as human beings, we've been getting fleeced, tricked, and scammed um, ever since humans figured out it was much more fun than working for a living, right? You know, remember P.T. Barnum? Um, he told everyone to come to his show to see the worst monster in the world. Um, and then what happened is they, you know, you would walk through this, uh, you'd pay your entry fee to walk through a dark hall and come to, uh, and at the end of the hall was a mirror, right? You know, um, because what's worse in the world than, than a human, right? Um, you know, so that's why we're always trying to trick each other. Um, but it also shows us how easy it is to be tricked. Uh, a hundred years ago, it was a painted mermaid. Uh, 20 years ago, it was Photoshop. You know, today it's a tiger with frozen stripes. The technology changes, but the human desire to fool you, that stays exactly the same, right? Um, so we have to treat these videos like the 2025 version of the Nigerian prince, right? Email. You remember that, uh, you know, where the prince wants to send you a million dollars, um, you know, but we learn to spot the bad grammar in those emails and just the fact that that's absolutely ridiculous, right? Um, and now we have to learn to, you know, spot the bad physics in these videos. Uh, you know, but my rule of thumb is always, if it's too good to be true, it probably is. But also if it's too bad to be true, if it's just too horrible to be true, it might be too, right? It just might be a fake, right? So the next time you uh, see a video that makes you gasp, you know, you know, look at the shadows, take a step back, um, you know, look at the hands, look at the tiger stripes, right? Don't let them fool you. Um, but also don't be afraid to ask. Uh, you know, also, like, there's nothing wrong with just, you know, putting it out there and saying, hey, does anybody know if this is actually real? Um, you know, feel free to drop it here in the comments, too, as well. Um, so let me know. Have you been fooled by anything recently? Um, you know, let's talk about it in the comments. And as always, remember to hit like and subscribe so we can keep talking. Have a great day.